Hey, what's up guys? This is Mike with Plugin Tube, and I'm here to show you another awesome WordPress plugin. I came across this plugin today and I thought, wow, this is really, really cool and it's something that I could use on several of my websites and networks. So I thought I'd show you guys as well in case you've never heard of this plugin. It's called Announcer. And we'll go ahead and search this plugin as you would any other plugin. Just type in the word Announcer. And it should be the first one that comes up. It is. Uh, so once you type in Announcer, let's go ahead and just install the plugin and get started on showing you what it does exactly. It's really cool. If you have a uh, uh, regular network, or sorry, regular install of WordPress, just activate the plugin. If you're like me, you can network activate it to be active on all sites of your multi-site network. Whatever works best for you. Um, but I'm going to go to my test demo site and show you how this wonderful plugin called Announcer works. Um, if you go to the settings of your admin dashboard after activating the plugin, you'll find a little menu item that says Announcer. So we're going to go ahead and check that out and show you how easy it is to use this plugin and how powerful it really is. So what this does is actually give you a nice header or footer banner that can either stay with you as you scroll through the page or stick to the top, uh, or not stick to the top rather, when you scroll down. So we'll give you an idea of how to use this. So it's pretty easy. You basically click on create new announcement and the name you give this announcement is just for you. It's not for the user facing uh, front end of the site. It's just for you to, to know what this announcement is that you're creating. Let's just call this test and we can say anything we want here. This is really cool. It's going to actually show up in this example on top of this uh, demo site. So let's just say, hey, uh, welcome to plugin tube. Once we got that in there, you can. there's several options here. You have a show announcement. You're going to want this to yes uh, for the example case anyway because I want to show you how this works. But you can set it to no if you have like several announcements you've created and you only want to turn certain ones on. So we're going to keep that to yes. And then you got a setting that's really, really cool. Show this announcement in this time range. Um, so actually, I haven't tested this part of the plugin, but from what it looks like you can actually set it to start on a certain day and end on a certain day and it automatically be removed from your site on the day that you choose really amazing feature of this plugin uh, for the, just this test example we're going to set it all the way out to 2015 so that we can have it on there today and show you how it works then it has an option to show or hide a close button Meaning, once the header's on top, do you want an X on the right-hand side for people to remove it from the site, or do you not want them to be able to remove that banner? That's up to you. For this, I'm going to go ahead and say, yes, we're going to show the close button. Then you have an, an option, where do you want it? Do you want it to be top float, which means top of the site, and it'll move with you as you scroll? Do you want it on the bottom and do the same thing where it just stays there all the time? Or do you want it to actually... Um, stay at the top or not stay at the top when you scroll, etc. And then you have manual placement. We're going to use top float for this example. Um, and then you can add different rules. You can say, I want to show this announcement on a certain page or a certain category page or certain pages with this certain tags. It gets really detailed, but for this example, we're just going to skip this and uh, because we're going to want it everywhere. So I'm not going to add any rules, but you can. It's really cool. Um, and that's it. that's it. I mean, you have other options for border color, background color, text color, many, many options. We're going to keep it simple just to show you how this plugin works. I'm going to click on update to make sure that we save the settings and we have the announcement as active. I'm going to refresh the page on my test site and it's not showing up. How awesome is that? Show announcement. Yes. Update. It should. There it is. It's there. Took a while, probably cash. But here you go. Welcome to Plugin Tube. This is what we added. And on the right hand side, you'll see the X that allows the user to close that out. And you see as I scroll, that stays there. Um, and let's say you want this uh, banner or announcement centered. Well, it's quite easy actually because this allows for HTML. So we can enter in the HTML for centering the, the uh, text on the banner. Once you've done that, you can hit update. And you can refresh, and your text will be updated. Pretty nifty. I like this. You can add links to the banner. You can not have the close button option, so it'll just be like a static header for your visitors. 
say that you're announcing something cool that's coming up next week, maybe a new plugin, maybe a new theme, whatever it might be, whatever your content is based on your site, you can add it there. Pretty awesome. It's called the Announcer plugin. Again, there's lots more you can do, but for the sake of a short video, I won't go into all the settings. But you can even create more than one announcement so that you can have them on different pages and have a different announcement for each particular page. Really cool. Uh, you can actually, that'll help you focus content maybe within one particular page or article. Uh, so you can use it for many different things. Again, in the announcer plugin, I'm Mike with PluginTube. More plugin videos coming soon, so stay tuned on PluginTube.com and submit your own plugin. Thanks, guys.